Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to another Rickles Fisher video and today we're out on a lake we're doing another solo adventure I think maybe 2 p.m. maybe 1 30 and I'm just scouting out a spot that I can get camped up for the night in uh, I don't want to just set up anywhere I've been trying to find a little drop off from six to eight feet but all I can find is six feet around here so I might find a drop off from four to six feet it's a little bit shallower than I'd like to be but this time of year there's so much ice that there's actually less water so that could be why I'm not finding that eight feet of water that I'm looking for. I'm just gonna scout for a bit. Maybe we'll catch some fish while we're scouting and get set up for a night bite. If you like these type of videos, give this video a like. Maybe give it a share if you think it's good enough to share. Or leave a comment, do all that stuff, and maybe our channel can grow a little bit here. This is not just my channel, this is your channel as well because it's all of our adventure together. So we're gonna go ahead and try and catch some fish. I'm excited, so let's do this solo night adventure in the one-man flip over. Let's get started. Alright, so I'm pretty much ready to go. Got my second line out there with the jig and a minnow. Sleeping gear here. Little rod holder. I got the burbot board in the other hole. This one's a little smaller so it fits better. Got the pillow. Just need to set up the hose and everything. Put my sonar over here, so yeah, it looks a lot different than it's gonna look here in a couple hours. All right, so quick update. It's uh, about four now. Well, no, not quite. It's quarter to four, sorry. And uh, I'm just gonna stick it out here. We haven't got anything yet. We've seen anything big. That guy's hauling over there. <laughs> but anyways, it's beautiful weather and I'm fairly confident in the spot that we'll produce some fish. So we'll just stick to it and we'll see you hopefully on the next fish. Just chilling in the shack here. Listen to some tunes. And hopefully going to catch some fish. We are at a transition point. Not too far away, it was six feet. And I finally found eight feet, so... I wanted to be a little bit deeper tonight because I want to target those burbot. And I feel like I get the chance of at least one or more if I'm in a deeper drop-off at least. If you're in four to six feet water, you might only have one come through all night if you're lucky. So we're gonna go in that eight feet range and hopefully we can get on to some big big fish tonight like I'm hoping like 12 to 15 pounds would be amazing but uh, yeah that's that's high hopes we'll see what happens yeah I've, I've seen bigger in here I've seen like up to I think maybe 18 pounds if I had to guess like down the hole during during the spawning season before they actually spawn big fat female I'll just take anything even like a 10 pounder is amazing fight super fat and they got wicked colors here so fingers crossed we get on to the lawyer and maybe a walleye or two and a perch would be amazing but who doubt who knows I have a fish on out there we gotta get out I think we might just be able to keep that one on I just made a serious adjustment. I got this up on the stool now, so when I lean back, I can actually see my sonar. Ha <laughs> ha! That's epic. Come on. He's all over it. Oh, I just missed it. No. That was the closest he had. He actually bit it. Should have let him chew it longer. What was I thinking? I don't think I stung him. I think I just spooked him. Momentarily. Oh, okay, we're marking again already. Yeah, here we go. There we go. What do we got here? It's a wall nice walleye too. Just cranked into that bad boy. We'll get him to settle down and we'll take a look. Maybe measure it. Let's measure it. Pop that hook out. Oh we had the stinger and the jig head in there. That's why I love using these stingers at night. 
So we got a 48 centimeter walleye, but honestly, I don't even feel like eating it. So we're going to let this thing go. I'm sure I feel like eating one tomorrow. We'll definitely have that chance, but uh, let's go ahead and release this beauty. Just about a 20 incher. Come on. Pause that. You got a big mark. Oh yeah. And we got it. Oh, it's a big burbot. Oh, it's not that big. But it's a burbot, which is awesome. Uh-oh. Don't be, don't be putting out the heater now. So next step is to try and hold this feisty critter up in the air here. Yeah, this one wasn't getting away. Nice. You can't see it yet, but we'll get some better light on it here soon. All right, ba-boom. This is just the baby lawyer. This is, uh, pfft. I've caught him like three times the size of this, four times the size of this here. But hey, this is a good start, right? Beauty. I love catching these things. We gotta release it though, so let's go ahead and get it back in the water. It's probably like a five pounder, four and a half, five pounder. Not big, but it's just curled up in a ball. Didn't, didn't want to leave, but now it's gone. Peace, so that's three species tonight. Woo! All right, so it is quarter after 11, and Jerry showed up actually to do some night fishing with me. It's just uh, outside here. There, you could actually you could see him pretty good in that that uh, that night's heading. It's crazy, but uh, yeah, he's out there truck fishing. Hoping he can get a couple. And uh, got my second line out to the right there. And it's been a while since I got one, but that midnight bite is coming up. This is it. This is the big one. It's not that much bigger, but it is bigger. It's all wrapped up too. Oh wow, that is a lot bigger actually. Oh, that's a fatty. They get a lot bigger, but this is this is twice the mass of the last one that we got. It is like 3 a.m. <laughs> Barely got that hook out, and he, he stole the minnow from me. Which, you know what, you can keep, buddy. You deserve that. After that fight, I didn't even get most of the fight recorded, but it fought like ten times better than the other one. So I knew it was a good one. That lighting is, you know, it's not the best, but it's not terrible either. But that is not a bad fish at all. Sick! Okay, let's let this beauty burbot go. That's probably pff, gotta be eight pounds, maybe ten. Oh yeah, look at the belly on that. Daddy. Feisty. Hey, it's like 6.30 now. There we go, nice. Nice. Look at how small and fat that one is. Wow, that's tiny. Well, not tiny, but very small, fat burbot. I'm not used to seeing those in here. It <laughs> just pops himself out of the hole. Cool. Okay, so there you have it. That is a small lawyer. That we will get back down there right away. See ya. It is 9 o'clock on the dot, actually, and I just got some... Some coffee boiling, got the jet boil going in here, and I think after I get the coffee going, I'm going to uh, get some bacon going after that. I was going to move in a shallower water and, and search for some perch, but I think I'm going to have some breakfast and coffee first before we move in a shallower water. Water's boiling, let's get the coffee going. Oh, look at that bacon sizzling. That looks yummy. Coffee and bacon. 
just out here enjoying the beautiful weather. And uh, I just got a pike on that rod not too long ago. I don't think I had any of it filmed, but it was small. We're hoping for a couple more big burbits before that day bite, and then we'll switch to targeting the perch. This this is what fishing's all about right here, is the bacon. That is an amazing way to enjoy your morning while you're fishing. Yummy. Beauty fat walleye. Probably a keeper, but we're just going to let it go. Oh, that was majestic. Whoa, 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 even more majestic. Um, do you want, do you want to come home? Okay, off you go. What a beauty. Want to cooperate, there we go. <laughs> Check out the bowl that I created with my heater. Just the slope after that many hours of the heater running. But that is gonna be it. As you can see, we cleaned up everything. No garbage, no trace left, except for the big bowl and the ice, which will get covered in right away. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was super fun. Uh, I'm kinda tired. I need a couple more hours of sleep, and then maybe I'll get back on the water and do like a part two. But uh, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like be subscribed and leave a comment and uh yeah i'll be back on the next one soon i'm probably going to do a slingshot video here right away as well it's been a while since i've done any slingshot content so yeah we'll see you on the next one very soon thanks for watching